पूजा वर्षिप विथ मानदारव ब्लू लोटस एंड जस्मी With all flowers pleasing and fragrant. With all flowers pleasing and fragrant. With garlands skillfully woven. With garlands skillfully woven. I pay honor to the princess of the sages. I pay honor to the princess of the sages. So worthy of veneration. So worthy of veneration. I envelop them in clouds of incense. I envelop them in clouds of incense. Sweet and penetrating. Sweet and penetrating. I make them offering of food hard and soft. I make them offerings of food hard and soft. And pleasing kinds of liquids to drink. And pleasing kinds of liquids to drink. I offer them lamps encrusted with jewels. I offer them lamps encrusted with jewels. Festooned with golden lotus. Festooned with golden lotus. On the paving sprinkled with perfume. On the paving sprinkled with perfume. I scatter handful of beautiful flowers. I scatter handfuls of beautiful flowers. Salutation. As many atoms as there are, as many atoms as there are, in the thousand million worlds, in the thousand million worlds, so many times I make reverent salutation. So many times I make reverent salutation to all the Buddhas of the three eras, to all the Buddhas of the three eras, to the Sadharma, to the Sadharma. and to the excellent community and to the excellent community i pay homage to all the shrines i pay homage to all the shrines and places in which the bodhi sattvas have been and places in which the bodhi sattvas have been i make profound obeisance to the teachers i make profound obeisance to the teachers and those to whom respectful salutation is due and those to whom respectful salutation is due going for refuse this very day this very day i go for my refuse i go for my refuge to the wonderful protectors to the wonderful protectors whose purpose is to guard the universe whose purpose is to guard the universe the mighty conquerors who overcome suffering everywhere the mighty conquerors who overcome suffering everywhere whole heartedly also i take my refuge oh heartedly also i take my refuge in the dharma they have ascertained in the dharma they have ascertained which is the abode of security against the rounds of river which is the abode of security against the rounds of river likewise in the host of bodhisattvas likewise in the host of bodhisattvas i take my refuge i take my refuge नमो तस
loving kindness, I give you all my body. With open-handed generosity, I purify my body. With stillness, simplicity, and contentment, I purify my body. With truthful communication, I purify my speech. With mindfulness clear and radiant, I purify my body. Confession of thoughts. The evil that I heaped up, the evil that I have heaped up, through my ignorance and foolishness, through my ignorance and foolishness, evil in the world of everyday experience, evil in the world of everyday experience, as well as evil in understanding and intelligence. As far well as evil in understanding and intelligence, all that acknowledge to the protectors, all that I acknowledge to the protectors, standing before them, standing before them, with hands raised in reverence, with hands raised in reverence, and terrified of suffering, and terrified of suffering, I pay salutations <coughs> again and again. I pay salutations again and again. May the leaders receive this kindly. May the leaders receive this kindly. Just as it is with in many faults. Just as it is with its many faults. What is not good, O protectors. What is not good, O protectors. I shall not do again. I shall not do again. Rejoice in merits. I rejoice with delight. I rejoice with delight in the good done by all beings. In the good done by all beings through which they obtain rest. Through which they obtain rest with the end of suffering. With the end of suffering. May those who have suffered be happy. May those who have suffered be happy. I rejoice in the release of beings. I rejoice in the release of beings. From the sufferings of the rounds of existence. From the sufferings of the rounds of existence. I rejoice in the nature of the Bodhisattva. I rejoice in the nature of the Bodhisattva. And the Buddha. And the Buddha. Who are protectors. Who are protectors. I rejoice in the arising of the will of enlightenment. I rejoice in the arising of the will of enlightenment. And the teaching. And the teaching. Those oceans that, being, that bring happiness to all beings. Those oceans that bring happiness to all beings. And are the abodes of the welfare of all beings. And are the abodes of the welfare of all beings. Entreaty and Supplication Saluting them with folded hands. Saluting them with folded hands. I entreat the Buddhas in the all quarters. I entreat the Buddhas in all quarters. May they make shine the lamp of the Dharma. May they make shine the lamp of the Dharma. For those wandering in the suffering of delusion. For those wandering in the suffering of delusion. With hands folded in reverence. With hands folded in reverence, I implore the conquerors be desiring to enter nirvana. I implore the conquerors desiring to enter nirvana. May they remain here for endless ages. May they remain here for endless ages. So that life in this world does not go dark. So that life in this world does not grow dark. So this reading is taken from uh, Ambedkar and Buddhism by our teacher, Murgyam Sangraksha. And uh, 
it's not so much about Bhante's meeting with Bahasa, but it's connected with uh, the, um, the the condolence ceremony that he uh, uh, asked to be uh, arranged in Nagpur on the 6th of December, while the little boy who is now Vivekaratna was getting ready to get on the train. A condolence meeting was held in Kastachan Park. When I arrived, it was quite dark and the long column of mourners were still converging on the place from all directions. They came clad in white, the same white that they had worn for the conversion ceremony only seven weeks earlier. And every man, woman and child carried a lighted candle, so that the park was the dark hub of a wheel with a score of golden spokes. Partly because of their demoralised state, Partly because there had been so little time, the organisers of the meeting had been able to do little more than rig up a microphone and loudspeakers. There was no stage, and apart from a Petromax or two, no lighting other than the, that provided by the thousands of candles. By the time I rose to speak, standing on the seat of a rickshaw, and with someone holding a microphone in front of me, about a hundred thousand people had assembled. By rights, I should have been the last speaker, but as things turned out, I was the first. In fact, I was the only speaker. Not that there were not others who wanted to pay tribute to the memory of the departed leader. One by one, some five or six of Ambedkar's most prominent local supporters attempted to speak, and one by one, they were forced to sit down again, as, overcome by emotion, they burst into tears after uttering only a few words. Their example proved to be contagious. When I started to speak, the whole of the vast gathering was weeping, and sobs and groans rent the air. In the light cast by the Petromax, I could see grey-haired men in convulsions of grief at my feet. It would have been strange if I had remained unaffected by the sight of so much anguish and so much despair, and I was indeed deeply moved. But though I felt the tears coming to my eyes, I realised that, for me at least, there was no time to indulge in emotion. And Bedka's followers had received a terrible shock. They had been Buddhists for only seven weeks, and now their leader, in whom their trust was total, and on whose guidance in the difficult days ahead they had been relying, had been snatched away. Poor and illiterate as the vast majority of them were, and faced by the unrelenting hostility of the caste Hindus, they did not know which way to turn, and there was a possibility that the whole movement of conversion to Buddhism would come to a halt or even collapse. At all costs, something had to be done. <coughs> I therefore delivered a vigorous and stirring speech in which after extolling the greatness of Ambedkar's achievement I exhorted my audience to continue the work he had so gloriously begun and bring it to a successful conclusion. Baba Saheb was not dead but alive. He lived on in them. And he lived on in them to the extent to which they were faithful to the ideals for which he stood and for which he had quite literally sacrificed himself. This speech, which lasted for an hour or more, was not without effect. And Bedka's stricken followers began to realise that it was not the end of the world, that there was a future for them, even after their beloved Baba Sahib's death, and the future was not devoid of hope. While I was speaking, I had an extraordinary experience. Above the crowd there hung an enormous presence. Whether that presence was Ambedkar's own departed consciousness still hovering over his followers, or whether it was the collective product of their thoughts at that time of trial and crisis, I do not know. But it was as real to me as the people I was addressing.
다할수 있어 그래. 그래. The body s a t v a compassion. Being he meditated deeply, saw the emptiness of all five skandhas, and s u n d e r the bonds that caused his suffering. He a r e t h e form is no other than emptiness, emptiness no other than form. Form is only emptiness, emptiness only form. Feeling, thought, and choice. Consciousness itself are the same as this. All things are by nature void. They are not born nor destroyed, nor are they stained or pure, nor do they wax or wane. So, in emptiness, no form, no feeling, thought, or choice. Nor is there consciousness. No eye, ear, nose, tongue, tongue, body, mind. No color, sound, smell, taste, touch, or what the mind takes hold of. Nor even act or sensing. No ignorance or e m u l a t i n g Nor all that comes of ignorance. No withering. No death, no end l o v e them. Nor is there pain or cause of pain, or ceasing pain or noble path to lead from pain. Not even wisdom to attain. Attainment too is emptiness. So know that the Bodhisattva, holding to nothing whatever, but dwelling in p r a n y a wisdom, Is freed of the l u s i v e hindrance, rid of the fear of e v i s and reaches clearest nirvana. All Buddhas of past and present, Buddhas of future time, using this p r a n y a wisdom, come to full and perfect vision. Hear then the great Dharma. The radiant p e e r e s mantra, the Pranya Paramita, whose words a l a y all pain, hear and believe its truth. Gate, gate, pare gate, arasam gate, bodhisattva. Gate, gate, pare. of merit and self-surrender. May the merit gain. May the merit gain. In my acting thus. In my acting thus. Go to the elevation of the suffering of all beings. Go to the elevation of the suffering of all beings. My per- personality throughout my existences. My personality throughout my existences, my possessions, my possessions, and my merit in all the three ways, and my merit in all three ways. I give up without regard to myself. I give up without regard to myself for the benefit of all beings. For the benefit of all beings, just as the earth and other elements. Just as the earth and other elements are serviceable in many ways, are serviceable in many ways to the infinite number of beings, to the infinite number of beings inhabiting limitless space, inhabiting limitless space. So may I become, so may I become that which maintains all beings, that which maintains all beings situated throughout space. Situated throughout space, so long as all have not attained, so long as all have not attained to peace. To peace. The four.
Bodhisattva vows from the Buddha and his Dhamma by Baba Sahib. And uh, if you would like to, you can repeat them after me. There are beings without limit. There are, there are beings without limit. Let us take the vow. Let, Let us, us take the vow. vow to convey them all across. To, to convey, convey them all across. There are kleshas in us without number. There are kleshas in us without number. Let us take the vow. Let us take the vow to extinguish them all. To extinguish them all. There are truths without end. There are truths without end. Let us take the vow. Let us take the vow to comprehend them all. To comprehend them all. There is the Buddha way without comparison. There is the Buddha way without comparison. Let us take the vow. Let us take the vow to accomplish it perfectly. To accomplish it perfectly.
काली पद में हूँ गते 
गते पार गते गचे गचे पार गचे पार संगते बोधि स्वाहा पार संगते बोधि 